Coble Banker Residential Real Estate in Glencoe. Through business, as well as being a Glencoe neighbor, I became friends with Joan and her husband, Richard. Joan and Richard made quite an impression in the neighborhood, walking their trademark regal collies. Everybody seemed to know them. Joan was a good, decent person, a person of high integrity. She enjoyed the real estate business and was driven to succeed. She had a quiet confidence and intelligence that drew people toward her. After all, real estate was in Joan's blood. She was the daughter of Stanley Goodfriend, co-founder of J.H. Can Realty, later to be acquired by Coble Banker, who went on to serve as Arthur Rublaw's vice president and project coordinator for the massive groundbreaking Sandburg Village development in Chicago. Joan had an indomitable spirit, an, incredi an incredibly positive outlook on life. One example of this, she would be out of the office for a period of time. I would call Joan to check in. And she would tell me that she had split her kneecap in a fall, something that to me and the average person would seem to bring unfathomable pain and discomfort <coughs> and, tremendously, and a tremendously long recuperation. But that's not how Joan dealt with the situation. In a cheery, upbeat voice, she would say, but don't worry, I'll be back to work soon. And sure enough, in what seemed like a few weeks, Joan would be back at work with that smiling face and sunny outlook, wanting to be brought back up to speed with what had been going on in the market while she was gone. Joan allowed me to work with her on several deals. She told me that she liked the way I worked, which I took as quite a compliment. After all, this was a woman I respected. I was a relative rookie in, the real, in real estate at the time. We worked seamlessly together, and it was a pleasure working with her, learning from her and getting to know her and some of her long-standing clients. Even after Joan retired, Joan and I would speak on the phone or get together, and the first thing she wanted to know was, what's going on in the market? What's going on in the office? Always eager to keep a foot in the game. Joan worked in real estate for 36 years, it's been said that Joan's ambition was to sell every house in Glencoe at least once. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure she ever accomplished that goal in actuality, but she certainly made a big impact, such that it must have seemed to many that she did. My time with Joan is something that I will always cherish. Joan, I, and many, many others will miss you. Uh, I was also asked to say a couple of words for a lifelong friend of Joan's, Julie Deutsch, who is still in the real estate business. Uh, Joan and Julie, I'm sorry, Julie couldn't be here today. She's uh, out of town. Anyway, what she said was, how do you summarize a lifelong friendship in a few words? Joan and I knew each other from a very young age. In fact, we went to camp together. She was always so positive. It was a pleasure to be around her. Joan, you will be missed. Thank you.